Providence's five founding congregations of sisters shared a common vision to reach out to the community and provide care and shelter to the most vulnerable people in society. The sisters' unique approach to healing addressed the whole person, caring for the mind, body, and spirit. Led by the finest research, teaching, and knowledge translated into world-renowned care, we've constantly advanced our mission to meet the ever-changing needs of our communities and British Columbia. I think a vision statement is that really defining statement that enables everyone in the organization to rally around it and find their own way in their own roles to contribute to meeting that vision. Driven by compassion and social justice, we are at the forefront of exceptional care and innovation. I think of these people quite often as a member of my family and how would I want them to be treated. It helps us to hold the hand of the person that's dying and to also look after the, the client that's yelling and screaming and really challenging every fiber of your being. Compassion is what helps us get beyond that. The most at need individuals are people who cannot navigate the system and reach us uh, we have actually taken it upon ourselves uh, to do what it needs to be done to get to them and in the process of doing that, uh, breaking the barriers that uh, traditionally have made it impossible for these individuals to benefit from our health care. The sisters at St. Paul's reached out to the community, put whatever personal beliefs aside and tried to treat people. That, that shows me a great deal of compassion and, and actually social justice. Any race, any gender, any sexual orientation, it doesn't matter. We will serve you and we want to serve you. And social justice is also an integral part of Catholic social teaching. And because we really appreciate and we really love our population group, like, we get them. We, we help them be seen, heard, and understood. And that's what helps an individual feel validated. We often get very close with our patients because we're managing them at a very fragile time in their lives where um, the goal of care is to improve their quality of life with their family around them. As a patient, you had confidence in, in the people that were uh, looking after you and helping you because they were so capable, so efficient, knew exactly what they were doing. What we do really well at Providence Healthcare is we think outside the box. Complex problems require complex solutions. Working in the cardiac program, uh, every day we're talking about something new, a new way of doing things, a new device, um, a new process. Innovation that occurs in laboratories uh, generated by the ingenuity of scientists generated by clever uh, clinicians is bound inseparably with uh, compassion and uh, makes us a profoundly effective organization in either preventing illness or restoring health. I think it's really important that Providence Healthcare keeps its focus on serving the underserved, the needy, um, people who are vulnerable. Prevention and health promotion, and also on home care and care in the community, just so that people don't get to the point where they need a hospital admission. To hopefully um, work towards the elimination of many other conditions that can easily be addressed using the same sort of uh, paradigm uh, that we embrace for HIV. I'd like to see us care for people in a beautiful space. I'd like for there to be less homelessness. I would like for us to be the Centre for Excellence in um, addictions and concurrent disorders. I would like for us to have uh, phenomenal community partnerships. I would like for um, there not to be any stigma related to mental illness. I so strongly believe that the vision has to come down off the walls. It has to be something that lives in the hearts of our staff, it has to be in the psyche of all of us, it has to be embedded in the organizational culture, the actions of all of us. If we can achieve that vision, if we can put that into action, then Providence Healthcare will continue to be of service to our community for the next hundred years.